Oh, we're getting flagged by Susan, JD's and Lentleman. The Oyster Bay Oyster Fest 2022. It was called off last year and 2020 because Calderona. But now it's back in full force and we're here and fuck yeah. Let's see. All you can eat. There's even uh, bananas boster and all that. Hot dogs, munnel cakes, kite falamari, beyond sausage and peppers, stabla roll, and oysters. So we're going to that. There's the Wild Bill's Sodi Pop. Sodi Pop, Stuke Sandwiches, Melgen Waffles, Haporasi Kettle Corn, you see. Jumbo pretzel braids, and this is just the food part, and there's a billion more stuffs in there and all kinds of, it's great. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Whatever that boat is doing is pretty cool. So that's pretty awesome. We are in the, I want to say the northeast corner of the fair. There's bulks and all kinds of water type things there and tents and all that we were like way down in there where the stadium lights were way down right. in there don't forget to go see the pirates <clears throat> I, I guess i guess we have to i guess we have to see the pirates we were like way down by like those stadium lights way off in the distance like way down there we walked all the way down because we had our oysters and the oysters were you want to talk about inflation i blew 90 bucks faster than you've ever seen before on fucking oysters and it was worth every single uh like a third of that but it was great they were fantastic but then they're not going to rip me the fuck off on the drinks because I know where the one water fountain is. And it works. <laughs> this looks like it may have been one of the water cannons, unless it was up there. I don't know, but it sprayed water out. And I don't know who Harvey J. John is at all. But it's a, it's a, it's a buyer vote, so I know that. And uh, a bloody engine room, looks like something. I guess life folks, something. Yep, definitely sprays Wawa. That's for damn sure. Kind of an interesting vessel. Interesting vessel indeed. Vessel, vessel. And this is um, Anne Elizabeth, you say. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm very mm, prim and proper. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, bolt. Yeah, thank you. Yes, very much, sir. This is just a park that we're at, is all this is. It's just a park, and every year they have this set up here and do all this, and this is just a damn park. Of course, the water continues and goes, I mean, that's, that looks nice. It really does. This is today and tomorrow, I think, are the last warm days we're having in 2022. And it's almost 70 degrees. It is absolutely beautiful and sunny and fantabulous. And what a great day for the Oyster Fest to be back. Now that's the best taste in pickle I ever heard. You see, the baby boom is bottomed out. I know. But classic pickle sales are topping everything. Really? Care for a baby dill? Delicious. Maybe I should start delivering Vlasic pickles. What do you think? I think you should take two Vlasic gherkins and call me in the morning. The thing is huge. Check it out. Compared to the headlight. Yeah. Love that kind. They said there's going to be upwards of 200,000 people here. I have hundred and so, I, I can't count that high exactly. There's all kinds of people just sitting around eating all of the stuff. In addition to the pickle with Tori from before, 
I also got a Rotato. I'll let you leave that up to your imagination. They had a number of different flavors and it was quite good. I think this is the Bia Garten, which is why it's cordoned off. You can see the beer piss leaking out of the portal potties and that. So uh, that's the Bia Garten. And as much as you might be saying, well, Jay, why don't you go to the Bia Garten? I, I don't do the craft beers and all that stuff, which is not me. I just drink plain regular stuff. They have unicycles with five fucking wheels on them. I guess I'm really out of touch with reality because what you're seeing there is condensate dripping out of a shul bus. Oh, I mean school bus, but it's, it's shul because we're in Syosset, New York. Where else would you go? You go to La Belle and buy a computer. That was an old war story. You didn't see it. Oh, you missed out. What a thing. Look at that. Hot bagels right down there. You could buy them. Oh, I wonder if they're kosher. What a thing. Of course they're kosher. Ah. So this is uh, for the train twerps. Oh, you guys are actually a lot more sophisticated. Rail fans, this is the Syosset L-I-R-R train station. There's not much to see. It's but they got a bridge, so we're gonna so this can could, to get over in case you have to, and that's so we're gonna go there. Weird material on the steps. This will be better. So it goes round for the ride. There's a platform on both sides, obviously, as you see. And going this way through the crazed windows. This one may be a little less. Quite curvy. Quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. So, somewhere in this parting lot, this big six, I don't know where, the, um, the auto booses obviously are the shuttle booses for the, uh, for the fair, and that's that. That, that it might, could be over there. That might be it. In fact, that is. That's a big six. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is. Let's see if we could just could zoom in on that. Yeah, there's the big six. Love that guy. See, I have a reason for going up here after all. I parked specifically out of the way of the light and the wires and all of that and still a bird shits on the car. I brought my Oki Printing Solutions backpack. I have had this for 20 years. It's been folded up and whatever. And I had I kept the camera in here and all kinds of stuff. And it's just a little backpack and it says Oki on it. And I think I got it a tiny middle and it's been like 20 fucking years. And I it's still it was right where I left it and it's you know it's there. Just about any kid older than um, 15 probably is allergic to this. Scutterbotch Crips. Scutterbotch Peanut Butter with Cripsies. It's probably all natural and other French things and stuff like that and... This is pretty much the only thing we ended up buying. It was $100,523, so that's not bad. It was, uh, it was too much money, but it was good. And um, yeah, it's, uh, they gave you a sample. It was fucking delicious, so we'll see how good that is. They usually have 
the uh, the soap people there, and I always get a bar of Thieves Blend soap. Love that stuff. Didn't see him this time, so I don't know. But I did get a pickle on a stickle and got a rotato and all that. And, um, of course, the oysters were fantabulous. Had a great time. Couldn't have asked for better weather. That's for damn sure. All around a good thing. And um, that's going to do it. So, uh, see that? They're Hebes right here. <laughs> That's Heeb 9165, 9167, 9168. Oi, what a thing. That's going to do it. So thank you very kindly for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.